Hello, Duncan. Thanks for sending your swing into the Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards, and I'm going to analyze your swing today. Duncan, when you look at here at your setup, I like that you're putting a bar down there to show your alignment. That's pretty good. As far as what I see in your swing, you take the club back a little bit under plane, but it's not really going to cause a lot of problems. I mean, we can work on that down the road. You actually have a pretty good backswing as far as setting the club and where the club should set. I like how it sets kind of down your shoulder line. The club face looks nice and square at the top. However, here's where I'd see you've got to kind of fix some of your swing problems. When you hit your golf ball, what I see happening is you have a divot for the most part that when you hit it is actually working more left of your target line. So it's almost a 45 degree angle to your left. And it's very deep. And you can see how deep that divot is. So now with the, the club kind of working from out to in, you actually have to hold the face somewhat square and the ball has a tendency to shoot out here to the right. So if you're losing power and you're getting a little bit of a, a weak fade to the shot, here's the reason being. When you swing down, what have you do, this is what I really teach a lot of my students and I think when you see some models, you'll get the idea of what has to happen in the downswing. If we were to draw the same line, this is Sergio Garcia, and we were to put his swing in motion and then watch his downswing. When you look at the downswing, the shaft of his club is lower than his right forearm. Your golf shaft is almost leaning more towards the left arm side than it is the right arm side and it really gets going out here over the top. Now you can take Sergio. I then have a model of Tiger and the same thing. The club lays down to the right forearm, not the left forearm. And then I've got even a slow motion of Anthony Kim and you're going to see again how the shaft lays down towards the right forearm. Your shaft is very steep. Now, the result of that steep shaft is what we see in the second video you sent me. And here's the second video. So your setup and grip don't look all that bad. But as a result of you coming a little over the top, I want you to watch your hands through the hit right there. All of a sudden you see a breakdown. We have too many angles right here. We've got elbow to wrist, wrist down the shaft. So now you've got to flip your hands. Now the unfortunate thing, Duncan, is a flip of the hands can cause a fat shot, a thin shot, a good shot with no power, a hook and a slice or a, or a, or a, a little fade ball. So what should the hands look like at impact? Well, if we can bring the club down properly, then you'll start seeing your hands, this is Brad Faxon, line back up with the shaft at impact and beyond impact. Now you're compressing the ball much better and you're going to get a much more controlled shot, a much more powerful shot without the effort. So Duncan, what I'm basically telling you is your swing faults start in your downswing. So with this stick that you have on the ground, if you had two of those, I would place the second stick, that's what I do with all of my students, on the outside of the ball, about three feet back, in at this angle. Now your job is to swing the club so your club comes underneath that. You want that shaft of the club working down on this area. Right now you're too over the top and steep. So Duncan, what I would do is I'd work on that. What we're trying to do is shallow the club out, and I think it goes with the driver too, especially the driver. Your ball will be a little bit more flat lined off the tee, won't be so high, won't be so curvy to the right. And your divots will start shallowing out. Right now you've got some pretty deep divots going on. So we need to shallow your club to shallow your divots. Duncan, thanks for sending your swing into the Golf Digest Challenge. Good luck to you.
After a while, working on this, if you want to resend me a video, go ahead, show me the down the line view, it would be great, so I can see if you're shouting that club out. Thanks again.